Hey everyone, welcome to the show. We are very, very excited today to bring you this brand new gun. I'm Jason Brown, I'm the National Account Manager with Smith & Wesson. John Miles is our Senior Product Manager and he's with me today to bring you the new 1854. John, tell them all about it. All right, so long time coming with this, uh, several months, actually a couple years in development. Um, so a lot of people don't realize this, but Smith & Wesson was the company, actually the men, the founders, were the ones who came up with the lever action, patented the very first one you know, in 1854. The, the and Volcanic. So, the Volcanic, and uh, that led the, that paved the way for the Henrys and the Winchesters of the world and all these other lever gun brands that, that have, uh, over the past 150 years, have really just uh, taken the industry by storm. Um, and so, and become legacy guns. Yep. And so, uh, getting back into that market, we wanted to take some of the best features we've seen in the lever gun market over the past 150 years and try to integrate it into a, gun, a single platform that accommodates the hunter, the shooter enthusiast, the traditionalist, and have all those features. Right and even some tactical gun. features. And some tactical features too. You know, yep. the, the big thing now is um, uh, accessorizing these with uh, MSR type features and that sort of thing, right. rails, all that. So I uh, have a lot of really cool features wrapped up in one package. Yeah, so let's start from the back. I mean, obviously this is gonna be the first the first caliber and the first iteration of the gun that we've launched. That's right. This yeah. is the, the gun we brought to the show. This is the first one that's gonna start shipping this week. Um, Starting with the back, obviously it's stainless and synthetic. Yep, stainless synthetic platform. Run us, run us through. I'm, I'm already seeing flat trigger. I'm already seeing large lever loop. Oh yeah. Just run us through it. So one inch recoil pad on there, uh, just to give you some good tactile feel on your shoulder and recoil reduction. Um, polymer buttstock, polymer forehand. Um, so our own furniture, we do it ourselves. Uh, we did uh, textured panels on this just yep. to give you good grip with and without gloves. Uh, nitride uh, large lever loop, so you know all those aftermarket big lever loops. We yep. went ahead and put that on here out of the gate. Uh, flat trigger shoe, kind yep. of a unique feature. Yes. And the more we tested it, the more we played with it, the more we liked it. Yep. So we put that right on out of the gate, and um, it will come with an ambidextrous hammer spur for your hammer. Uh, one thing I do have to throw out with the uh, the engineers, what a great job they did on this fire control. Yep. Um, they truly did a phenomenal job. So it's it's a side eject system like you see on some of the other hunting lever guns, but our fire control system has a really smooth uh, hammer cock on here, really smooth trigger pull. Uh, it's consistently about four to five pounds. It's felt great. We've taken, we've shot several of these, had them on several hunts, getting a lot of compliments on this fire control. Um, so it comes with the rail already installed? Comes with the rail installed on here as well as with the excess uh, ghost ring system yep. in the rail. So you do have some filler screws if you don't want to use that. Sure. But this comb height is really set up to uh, align the eye to on align. this ghost ring. Uh, we know we had a lot of traditionalists out there, so yep. we're set up for that. And I jumped um, in front of you on the safety, so let's, yeah, let's so, make sure. So we have a, a several safeties on this, actually. We have the uh, manual hammer block safety. And so when the safety's on, the hammer can't rotate and strike the firing pin. Right. Great feature. Uh, this gun also has a captive half cock position, so it locks out your trigger uh, until you come to full cock position. So I you, like have, that. you have several safeties on here. Great for youth. Yep. Right? Great first time gun. Uh, Picatinny rail, like we mentioned before, side eject. Um, your magazine tube 9 plus 1 on this 44 Magnum. Yep. So a really good mag capacity on that. Uh, one really cool feature on this mag tube is we wanted something that you could safely unload. Correct. Because we know both adults and youth will be using this, yep. right? And so we do have a removable mag tube that the entire tube comes out. Um, and that actually helps uh, on the disassembly process as well. Sure. So if you've ever had another side eject uh, lever gun, what usually happens is if you're disassembling the forend or anything for cleaning, uh, you have to take the end cap off, and yep. you always run the risk of scratching that mag tube, yep. right? So we wanted to be able to remove that completely and uh, save the mag tube, especially on our high-end version and sure. all that stuff, right? So uh, so you're able to take this out during disassembly, remove this without scratching your yep. gun. Really cool feature. Ease unloading. Uh, it's chamfered inside to help unload the rounds out the front. Uh, so awesome. Makes feature. it a lot easier, too. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm seeing swivels. Swivel studs are already in yep, front swivel and back. Yep, installed. We did a recessed one in here just to give it that nice sleek feel. Right. And look to it and nothing protruding out. Sure. Um, nice clean magazine tube barrel alignment. Part of this magazine tube feature, we don't need a secondary barrel band yep. or anything on here. Um, threaded, which threaded. of course I'm already loving. Oh yeah, so 11, 16, 24, so Sammy thread for 44 yep. cal on here. And so any aftermarket feature that has that 11, 16 uh, thread pitch, you're good to go running yep. on that. 
Uh, the gold bead on the front side. Gold bead. Same kind of gold bead we put in our revolvers. Yep. So we started with that, and we, we were really we we're tinkering with uh, fiber optic, all these other ones. And we just got a solid sight alignment, and people were able to pick it up with that yeah, gold bead. I've noticed the pickup yep. is great. Nice fine point of aim. And so uh, that's a great feature on here. When you start running this thing, it's easy to zero if you've yep. ever used the excess system. Screw adjustment for windage, half rotation for your elevation. Right. Really easy to zero on this gun. So a lot of great features wrapped up in here. M-Lock for those guys that want to run nighttime hunting, pig hunting, have a light accessory. Yep. Uh, gives you all kinds of options there as well. We are. So. Thank you so much for all the work you, you and your team did to, to make this come to, yep. to fruition. Yep. Guys, we are so thankful that you joined us today. Obviously, in a few weeks, Kevin and I will be doing our normal stepbrothers meeting in Prescott, and we'll be shooting at gun sites, so we'll be going into even more detail. Obviously, it's going to be difficult to beat the, the detail John gave us today, but we're so excited to bring this to you. This is just, just the beginning for us getting back to the roots from 1854. Thank you so much for your time, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.